Malaysia's first 3D animated film, War of the World's Goliath, is making waves internationally. Now, it won the Best 3D Animated Feature Award at the recent Los Angeles 3D Film Festival. So, how will the film's success affect the future of Malaysia's creative content industry? Set in an alternate 1914 in New York, the War of the World's Goliath is about a second wave of Martian invasion. It's the first 3D animated movie ever produced in Malaysia, says its producer, who calls it a tribute to H.G. Wells' novel War of the Worlds. Those of them who like science fiction, steampunk, uh, animation, mm -hmm. games, you know, uh, those of them, those of us who um, enjoy the heritage of War of the Worlds mm -hmm. from the H.G. Wells classics mm -hmm. to all the incarnations of War of the Worlds that has happened in the last hundred years. We just want to add to that heritage and, and uh, we hope people will like it. Leon, who's Malaysian, gave up its banking career in Singapore to venture into filmmaking five years ago. It took a team of talents from America, South Korea and Malaysia four years and 30 million US dollars to put the movie together. The hard work paid off when it beat Hollywood blockbusters like Madagascar 3 and Paranorman to win the best 3D animated feature in Los Angeles recently. The US took, what, 60, 70 years? Mm -hmm. The Japanese took maybe 40 or 50 years. The Koreans took 20 years. Mm -hmm. we, we really had, the, right now in terms of our market development and industry development, we've only really started on animation in Malaysia 10 years. And the path of acceleration has been tremendous. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say we have a long way to go. I'd say that we've certainly accelerated our learning curve and our entry into the international stage. Now, it's a good start, industry experts say. The War of the World's Goliath has certainly provided Malaysia a platform to further export its creative content, attract production jobs in animation to springboard the country as the regional hub for creative content. Melissa Goh, Channel News Asia, Kuala Lumpur.